Hello, welcome back to Project 63. And today we're gonna to get a little bit messy and then put some paint back on the car. Yeah, so we've got a table full of um, bits here that Stephen's been busy buying. That was a good day. Yeah, I don't know whether we'll, we'll have a quick run through what we've got and uh, what, what we're using it for. Okay, roll the credits. We'll start from this side then, shall we? Rust removal wheel, reasonably abrasive without taking big chunks of metal off. Get rid of all the horrible flaky stuff underneath. Q-rust. It's a rust converter, so you, you've probably seen these before. You just paint them on and it leaves a layer, like a primer layer, that you can then paint over the top. Car body sealer. You may end up taking off some of the seam sealer underneath. You need to put some of this back on, otherwise it's gonna fill with water. Body wipe, you've all seen that before. It's just basically cleaner, but Good trade strength yeah. one, yeah, yeah, just buy a big tin while you're there. Going over to your side, we've got the Raptor. There's some purists out there that are pretty screaming and saying, no, don't put Raptor on it. But this, for a car that's going to get used, like Project 63, mm. I think is, is absolutely perfect. It's the kind of thing that you'd put on your, your pickup truck bed. Um, so it's scratch resistant. We've got a few different um, uh, bottles here. We've got a hardener. We've got the colour match there as well, haven't we? We'll show you in a minute, but this basically comes out like PVA glue. It's a gloopy kind of stuff. You mix it in with the hardener to a certain ratio, depending on temperature and things. Um, but then the real kind of crux of it is the colour. You can paint it body colour. Mm. How did we get the right colour for the car? Uh, well, we don't know what the colour is. Apparently it's green, blue. I don't know, it's a South African special, let's call it. So this is the, the guard that goes around the grease nipple on the radius arm. So um, took that down, went through a range of custom colors in the chart and found one that's closest to that. So that's the tint. So basically you mix these three together, you mix these three together um, and it makes a rollable paint. You can spray it, but when I did it before in a race mini, I used these little foam rollers and that gives a really nice texture. Easy as well, I guess, rather than you know, a spray gun, nice and easy to get under there. It's okay if you've got a spray booth, but yeah. here in the workshop it's going to make a mess. Yeah. And being underneath the car and the wheel arches, you're not going to see if it's a, a show finish under there. We're not going to do a concourse competition yeah. anytime soon. So um, let's give it a go. I have used it before, say on, on a race mini. Yeah, so you should be a pro then. I don't know about a pro. We're not bodywork experts, so um, let's see how it comes out. later. Right, that was a pretty horrible job, but we've got rid of most of the grime and the mess from underneath. A little bit of surface rust. I was going along all the seams in the corners and you could see the rust was kind of just starting beneath. So peeled it all back, got some of the rust converter in there, wire brushed it all as well. Q-Rust stuff's pretty good. I've used the gel before, but that's a liquid. It's like milk, um, but it goes in there really well. It fills in all the gaps and you can see where it goes this kind of black colour where it's neutralised the rust. So I think that's going to be a good base for the seam sealer. We've got a, a posh gun, it's about 15 pounds rather than, uh, what, two pounds, five pounds of the cheap ones. Um, so we're going to give it a good clean off with the cleaner and put some new seam sealer in.
I squidged it in there and it looks it looks pretty horrible. <laughs> um, you have to now go along your finger and, and make it nice and smooth. And the best thing is just to, in between doing it, just dab of water. Don't, some people will say lick it, but obviously the first time's all right. The second time you're gonna get a mouthful of seam sealer. Right, okay, let's get some of this Raptor paint mixed up and on the car. So you've got to mix the, the Raptor and the Hardener three to one, but it's, it's quite hot here in the workshop today, so I might go a little bit less than that. First stage, I suppose, is to mix up some of the, the base coat. It looks like a reasonably close match. I think it's gonna be quite good by the time it's mixed in with the Raptor. So you want 10% of that according to the instructions. So this give the uh, Raptor another good shape. I'm not very good at math, so if we go to a nice round number on the scales, like PVA glue. Try and do the whole floor in one go, one coat. Let's go, if we go 250, there you go, so like 250 of that. Now if we go up to 10% tint, chop that out of the way. So if we take that to 275, there you go, a bit more. Give that a nice good mix. You can spray this on, but we're gonna use the roller because it's a bit neater in the workshop here. I think if you're putting it somewhere that's on show or in a show car then you'd probably want to spray it on. Take that off, put that on, it's definitely not a milk bottle. Pour our lovely mixture into there. So if we go 75 grams, I think that'll do. So let's, let's take it up to like 3, 320, 325. There we go, gone a little bit over but that'll be all right. And that's it then, we just mix it up. So I'm gonna go round first off and cut in to deal with the difficult to reach edges just with a brush. And then after that, we're gonna roll it on. Right, that'll probably do for the first, first attempt. Okay, so I've been out all underneath as well with some scotch bright just to kind of give it a bit of an etch as well and all the bits where the rust converter's on there and then see, degreased it. I think the color looks quite good. So we just start off on the edges and, uh, and I'll do the rest in a minute with the roller so we get that nice kind of textured look. And then away we go. Following Thursday. Okay, there you go. So that was three coats in the end, which is probably about right. You do have to put it on a little bit thicker when you're using a roller or a brush. I think it looks pretty good. The bits I'm not so sure about are actually the original rust proofing, underbody, gloopy stuff. You see all the little bits here. It's how far do you go with it? That's the question. I mean, given an endless amount of time, you would probably take all of that back but it's so thick I don't know what it was that they put on there but it's it's like tar almost so that's the thing how far do you go if you had all the time in the world and you're doing this at home you just crack on don't you, you just keep going and take it all back otherwise though, I think the color match is pretty good 
and it's given a real nice resilient finish underneath. I even managed to get right up inside the rear valance, that was really difficult. The next thing I'm going to do now is just get a bit of Dinatrol underbody wax and spray that up inside the cavities. So next up, we're going to get the radius arms, subframe, get it all back together, get it back in the car. Thanks very much for watching. If you like our content, please make sure to like and subscribe and we'll bring you some more soon.